Okay, Asan, I know how to wear jeans, but there's a method to the madness. Today's video is brought to you by Why Style Matters, the mindset of dressing well and how it impacts your life. This is not your ordinary book on style. It's broken into three parts, memoir, mindset, and mechanics. It takes you on a journey of discovery, philosophy, and interpretation of what style is and its influences. It's filled with cultural and social impact of how the world sees you. The link is in the description. Get your copy today. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you seven ways to dress up jeans. Let's go. What's up, fellas? It's your boy, Assign the Style Jumper. Your guide to personal style if you're new to the channel, we release videos where we discuss topics like style, confidence, and etiquette. Please subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when we release our next video. I know you're thinking, son, I know how to put on jeans and all that good stuff, but there's a method to it. Jeans were designed during the gold rush, really, because those guys and those miners, you know, they're tunneling and they're blowing up stuff and they need something for their tools. And so they needed something durable to wear. And so jeans was designed and created for those miners during the gold rush era. But let's talk about today. Fit. The thing about fit is fit is absolutely king. You wanna make sure that your jeans fit you well, which will in turn translate to a stylish approach and looking a little dressy. So there's the traditional sizes of jeans, right? You have your slim fit, not skinny. Then you have your straight leg, your boot cut. Those three are the majors that you usually take advantage of when you're looking for a pair of jeans. But at the end of the day, you wanna make sure that they're not too wide and definitely not too long. But I have a cheat code about long jeans. Sport coat or blazer. Now adding a sport coat or blazer to your jeans definitely can dress up these jeans and give you a nice classy look. The key to it is you wanna make sure it's the right size sport coat or blazer. Sometimes guys throw on any sport coat or blazer or a suit jacket and think it's just gonna look good with the jeans. That's not the case. Again, fit is king. Sometimes these things are just way too big and too long. So just think about that when you're considering adding a blazer or sport coat with your jeans. By wearing a sport coat or blazer, it adds a level of sophistication. Maybe if you're at work, right, and you wanna change and you know you're gonna go out to the bar with the fellas after work, maybe make sure you pack a pair of jeans on the way. Maybe you're throwing a sport coat, throw off your tie, unbutton your shirt two buttons down, slide on those jeans, and you're in business. And that's what we wanna make sure you're looking great and dressing up those jeans cuff or roll. What's important about the cuff or the roll is that, guys, if your jeans are too long, you're automatically losing. You're automatically going to look sloppy or look shorter. So what you want to do, there's a couple of styles. You can roll your jeans or you can do the standard, I would say, is one and a half inch cuff. Then there's the two. And then if you're crazy like me, I like to rock those four boards sometimes. But again, it's how you put it together that makes the difference. Color or wash. Now the thing about the color wash can really make a difference when it comes to if you're dressing up your jeans. Dark washes are always a winner. So your raw denim or your dark blue denim. Then you have your shades of white, like your bright white, your cream, and then even venturing to the gray or like that stone gray. Those three colors are gonna look amazing and you can dress it up, which I really love. And then finally with the style of jean is a darker wash, maybe a black or even a dark teal will look really good. Again, if the fit is right, if it's not too long and you understand how to throw on that blazer, pop that tie off, drop that button down two times, you're in a good spot to looking really classy and you cannot forget our next topic, which is your shoes. The thing you need to know about shoes is that they speak a language. And so you want to be cognizant of whether you're wearing a pair of loafers, a pair of brogues, or boots. We're from all over the world and all over this country. So there's a lot of ways to interpret how to dress up your jeans. But I promise, if you really take in consideration your shoe style, you're going to be in a really good spot. But again, you don't want them to be too long unless you're wearing some boots. 
shirt. Now there's a couple of shirts that I love as my go-to to dress up. My jeans, that would be a polo and a lightweight sweater in the summer. When the seasons change, you can transition to a heavier sweater, a cardigan, or even a sweatshirt to give that color variety. Today's cheat code. Today's cheat code, fellas, is tucking your shirt in those jeans. So for me, I'm 99% of the time tucking my shirt. It does two things. One, it allows you to look a little neater when it comes to wearing your jeans, and it also shows your accessories. Maybe you're having a really nice belt to match your shoes. So it adds to a level of neatness and to show off those accessories. If you want to see what I'm wearing on a day-to-day -day basis, check out my Instagram. There you'll find a ton of looks or maybe some inspiration. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you have any questions or suggestions, leave it in the comments below. And if you like this content, fellas, share it with your stylish friends. And remember, when you leave home today, walk out with style, confidence, and etiquette. And fellas, look, you can rock jeans however you want, but just know if you want to dress them up, there's a couple of things you need to do to put you in the game and you'll always be a winner. And I'll see you on the next one. For more great ideas on style, check out this next video.